Hello, I'm James Eve. Welcome to Class 1. This is our EVG 420, which I will be demonstrating today using the bond alignment mode. So, I have a recipe here, and the recipe is set up for anodic bond alignment. This is in the process just here. I have also in the process here selected crosshair. For this process, you can use overlay or crosshair. Both of these processes will allow you to align the top and the bottom wafer for bonding. So I'm going to select crosshair and continue. There's going to be no um, exposure mode used here because we don't have our lamp house in place. So our lamp house is currently being refurbished. So I'm going to hit the run, save changes, and start the recipe. So. so down here in this bar here, it explains what to do next. It's asking me now to insert the bond tool. The bond tool has been inserted. I put this in position. This goes in the top where the mask holder would normally be positioned and I'm going to click on continue as this is already in place. Now it's asking me to load the top wafer with the glass and ruler. The wafer has been loaded. It's loaded with the patterns on the down side so I can look up to them to do the alignment. I'm checking that the flags are out and they're currently out so I can continue. Now we're going for a wedge error compensation where we're just pulling the chuck up together to the, uh, the bottom chuck to the top chuck. Right now you can see I am just adjusting the microscope. This is looking from the bottom side up. These are our patterns on our wafers, these white lines that you see. And I've just adjusted the right side and the left side. Normally I would be looking at crosshairs that would go across here, um, but we don't have any on this wafer. So I'm just gonna use this as a, an example of what we would use. So I'm gonna click on continue as they're, they're kind of in focus and we can see that they're there. Now here are my crosshairs, so I'm just going to click over here and move them to where I want them. just going to put that one there and drag this one kind of over here. I'm only doing this as a, an explanation of how it would normally work. This would normally be, like I said, you would actually put these on the crosshair, it would actually be a cross, so it would give you an XY position. So now I'm going to click continue. And the crosshairs stay as you'll see on the screen, but the actual wafer has gone out of focus because the wafer has now been held in position. So I'm going to move this chuck out and you'll notice that the wafer is no longer there and it's been held onto the bond chuck. So now my second wafer is in place and I am going to click continue and I'm going to move this in. Now it's asking me to adjust the, the second substrate to align it to the, the crosshairs. Unfortunately, my second substrate also doesn't have any patterns on it, but it does have lots of particles on it, as you can see. So this would be what you would do. You would move the second substrate around to align it 
to the crosshairs that are already in position and then you can rotate this and move this around in, in position until you find your, your patterns and then continue. So I'm going to hit continue now. Now I'm going to move my separation flags in. The separation flags are used to take any uh, any bubbles or trapped air between the wafers when you bond the pair together. It's basically, it leaves a little gap on three points of the wafers on the very edges so that when you push them together in the center, the air can, can, can get out so you don't trap any air inside the wafer. So I'm going to hit continue. Now the top and bottom wafer are pulled together. And I'm going to continue. This is the separation gap. Now they're actually bringing together. Now I can clamp them. I'm bringing the clamps into position here. I've been asked to remove the bond tool. So now, as simple as this, the bond tool can be removed and my clamped pair of wafers, as you can see, they have the separation flags in place and they're clamped, are now ready to be moved onto the bonder. And that's six inch wafers and they would now be put onto the bonder and bonded. So, thank you, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.